Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Guitar of the Day. I'm your host, Michael Lemo, and today it is kind of a Stratter day, but we're, we're going to have a good one. <laughs> Stop it! Well, we got something totally different than a Strat, that's my point. But, mm -hmm. you know what? So what? It's really cool. Yes. And we hope you guys are doing well. On uh, Tuesday, we're going to announce two winners once again, so comment, subscribe, and uh, two of you will be getting a cool t-shirt. But yeah, check out this guitar. So it's got that kind of coffin case, yes. original, very, very cool. This is from either 1959 or 1960. This is a Dan Electro Longhorn bass in copper burst. Ooh. Wow. This thing is so cool. Now, I'm not sure. I have a feeling this might have come from Norm's Warehouse. It is very clean, but it is just so cool. And it's even got those pyramid strings. I think, I don't know if the strings are in here from the original, but... Pretty cool to see that. That's probably been with us for a while. Um, and there, it looks great against the red, fits perfect. And it's kind of an odd shape as you could see for yourself. Um, it's got a 20 inch fingerboard radius. Um, and then it's got wood on the chrome tailpiece back here. Really cool, just that little simple design from Dan Electro. Uh, two lipstick pickups. And how it works is this turns on your neck pickup and this is your volume for the neck pickup. This turns on your bridge pickup. This is your volume for the bridge pickup, so here. And then both are on. So you got two on and off switches for each pickup and uh, and then your volumes. And uh, really works cool. Uh, great pick guard kind of look there as well. Um, let's take a look at the back. Yeah, look at the neck too. Unbelievable, Coke bottle headstock. Um, Frets actually seem kind of low when you look at it, but it doesn't really matter. It plays so great and uh, just really, really cool. But yeah, look at the back. Wow. Amazing. The neck, though. Yeah, it weighs about 6.6 .6 pounds, 1.79 nut width. Um, but yeah, just a really, really amazing instrument um, and something that, you know, I think to have in your collection would be so cool. So we're gonna take it out front and see what we can do, but uh, very excited about this one. Let's do it. Let's go. Woo. Woo. All right, we're out front with the late 50s, early 60s Longhorn bass slash uh, baritone. Right now we have a tune like a baritone, um, but really, really cool and uh, definitely ahead of its time. Uh, we're going through a Fender, um, kind of a Hot Rod DeVille again, uh, but let's start off on uh, the neck pickup. Let's see what we get. sound um, what I noticed about this guitar is a lot of the Dan Electra's with these lipstick pickups it really um, works well with both pickups together uh, that's when it really kind of the sound merges so let's check it out and see what we get
when you take out the neck pickup, you're going to get the opposite. You're going to get that kind of really high pitch sound. Um, but let's check it out. Um, this is a song I learned recently uh, by REM called, uh, I think it's called Driver 8. Let's check it out. <laughs> early 60s it's the Dan Electro Longhorn bass slash baritone right here at Norman's Drag Guitars you can check them all out at normansdragguitars.com and also on Instagram and Facebook I'm your host Michael Emma see you soon bye mate <laughs> that was cool yeah really cool guitar <laughs>